Welcome to Made in Alberta. I'm Barb Allard. A residential solar electric system tends to produce the most power during the day when the homeowner isn't using very much. If the system is connected to the electrical grid, however, it then provides green power to the industrial and commercial sectors when they need it the most. To take full advantage of this win-win-win situation, a change to the electrical regulations is required. Last spring, we spoke with Eric Smiley about British Columbia's new regulation. BC Hydro introduced a net metering tariff, which allows people to interconnect a renewable energy system with their utility grid and feed power back into the utility grid without having to apply for a special purchase agreement. Although any analog electrical meter will register power going both ways and give you a net readout, they're not certified in Canada to do so. So BC Hydro could not purchase power legally from somebody that was spinning a meter backwards. So they actually had to compromise and they will install a new meter for you, electronic meter that will register both forwards and backwards and keep track of those two numbers separately. So effectively what they're doing is called net billing, where they keep track of both your production and your consumption and then subtract one from the other. Net billing can be used to offer financial incentives to homeowners to install a solar power system. The opportunity arises like they have in Germany where they have a feed-in tariff where you actually get paid f about 45 cents US a kilowatt hour for the solar electricity you generate and then you buy it back for a much lower rate, which I believe is around 15 cents a kilowatt hour. California's time of use metering and British Columbia's green tags are other forms of incentives, but making the process simpler also provides a benefit. It's a fairly simple process to get connected to BC Hydro. You pay a hundred dollar application fee, you supply a one-line electrical drawing and you fill out some forms that uh, exp uh, describe the system, specify the system, and uh, you need, of course, an electrical inspection on the system. And then there's Alberta's example. Gordon Howell of Edmonton has the first grid-connected residential solar power system in Western Canada. The barriers to micropower systems in the province are not technical, they are regulatory and political. I've identified a 70-step paperwork process that you need to go through to get a solar power system connected to the grid. Now, in addition to that, there's another 18 steps to go through to get paid for the, any excess electricity that you generate. The good news is there's a motion to create a Made in Alberta net metering bill under discussion in the Legislative Assembly. We will continue to explore this topic in future episodes of our chapter called Solar in the City.